Hi, James from the 11 Plus Tutors again. Today I'm going to talk to you about the genius of the metric system. I'm trying a new ca camera angle out here today, so please bear with me. It's my intention to enable children, especially our new starters, to understand that the metric system is in fact their friend. Um, in the past, there have been many other number systems, and there still are in fact. Um, we used to use the imperial system in this country um, years ago, and in the ancient times, the Babylonians actually used the base 60 number system. Can you believe that? And in fact, this is where we've inherited our base 60 time system from. Thank goodness children don't have to deal with a number system that is based out of 60. That'd be very confusing, I'd imagine. But luckily, we've got the good old metric system here. Um, and what's great about this is kids can very quickly um, learn to use it to their advantage. And that's what we try and foster in our tuition. For add, subtract, and divide, what we say is line the dots up. Line everything up using the dots, even if there's a different number of digits. So here I've got my example. 6.2 plus 18.8. We've lined them up using the dots. Can you see? And we just treat it like normal. Um, a normal column addition. So we carry across. We're taking one into the units here, the ones as they call it now. Um, so we've got 15 here. So we've got 25.0 or 25. For this one, um, we've got some exchanging to do, still line it up using the dots. This number should always be bigger than this one. So what we need to do in fact here is borrow one from here, take it to here, put it next to this number. That becomes four. We've got the same problem here though. This number is now smaller than this number, or well, it was before anyway. So we borrow from here, that becomes zero now. We put it next to that number, that becomes 13. So this in fact becomes six, and there's nothing to do there, 6.4. When we talk about, so this is add, subtract, and divide. Line it up using dots. There's one, there's an exception. So when you multiply, um, I'll talk about column multiplication first. You actually ignore the dot when you're doing the multiplication. Let me show you. So we write the question out first, 6.2 times three. We underline anything in the whole question that's to the right of a dot. In this case, we've got one number here, number two. Then we go ahead and ignore the decimal point. We do it like a regular column multiplication. Then what we do is we look at the question and say, well, how many decimal places were there? There was one. So what we do is we go from the right and we count back one bounce. If there were two decimal places here, of course we do two bounces and so on. So we end up with 18.6. So we copy the question out, write it out without, bounce it back in at the end. That's a simple rhyme that I teach kids. So I'm doing a, a whistle stop tour through all of this. Um, with this, multiply by 10, 100, 1000. What I say to kids, something silly. When we multiply, we go the way we read and write the dot. When we divide, we go the other way. For every zero, we do one jump. So here we've got times 100. So we do one jump, two jumps. Then we've run out of numbers there. Not a problem. What we do is... We jump to, we add a zero. So that's the answer. So very, very quick tour of the decimal system. Really just to show you how we start the children off with decimal numbers. I think this is really important groundwork for all kids. We often find that kids come in, they know some of this, they make mistakes with bits and pieces. A lot of kids coming not really understanding this. They try and line it up using the dots, which of course you don't for this. Um, with this, the common mistakes are not remembering to line up using the dots. They try and line up in other ways. And there are mistakes there. Another thing I might mention is usually when there's a gap, you can add a zero there. I hope you've enjoyed that quick video. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. Goodbye.